All right, here we have one. Let's start by looking at the front of the unit. Here you can see the Allen Bradley logo. And then underneath that, we have the power, run, fault, and force indicators. And under those, we have the Micrologix 1100 logo. And in the center, above the LCD, we have a few indicator labels. The first one is the COM0 activity label. The next one is the COM1 activity. The next one is the DCOM enabled. The next one is battery low. And the last one is a user message. And then, of course, we have the LCD screen itself, under which we find the escape, OK, and directional button pad. And let's go ahead and zoom in closer for a few seconds to give you a better look. OK, now let's look at the top and bottom of this unit. You can see here it's vented to allow for heat dissipation. And on the left-hand side, we see the RJ45 jack for Ethernet, as well as the mini DIN serial port. And you see more venting here as well. On the back of the unit, we can see it has two clips for DIN rail mounting. And you'll also notice on the top and bottom mounting holes. And on the right, we have the product label. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And you can see uh, here that my catalog number is a 1763L16AWA. You can also see some other stuff like uh, the series, the rev, the FRN, as well as some information about the inputs, outputs, and line power. And certifications like UL and CE. And that's it for our introduction to the Micrologix 1100.